push-pull amplifier. Now, in push-pull amplifier, two similar uh, two power transistors are used, and both are same. That means it may be NPN type or PNP type. Push-pull power amplifier is used in class A type, class B type, and class AB type amplifier. For less distortion, uh, class A amplifier is used, but its efficiency is very less, approximately 50 percent. For less distortion and higher efficiency, class B type amplifier is used, and uh, mostly we are using class B type amplifier. And class AB amplifier is used to reduce the crossover distortion. Now the class B push-pull amplifier. Now in the circuit of class B push-pull amplifier, two, uh, it consists of two similar power transistor Q1 and Q2. Here we are taking uh, common emitter type power transistor. Now the base of the each power transistor Q1 and Q2 is connected to the uh, secondary winding of the transformer T1. So here uh, the, you can see that the P terminal of secondary winding of the transformer T1 is connected to the base of the uh, transistor Q1. And similarly the Q terminal of the secondary winding of the transformer T1 is connected to the base of the a power transistor Q2. So now here this is T1 is the input transformer and it is also called as a interstate transformer or driver transformer. Now the, the both emitter terminal the emitter terminal of the both power transistor Q1 and Q2 are uh, joined to either each other and it is grounded through emitter resistance R E. Now here the uh, emitter capacitor C E is not connected in parallel with the emitter resistance R E. That means negative feedback is used which reduce the distor uh, distortion but it also reduce the gain of the amplifier. Here the resistance R1 and R2 is the voltage divider type resistance which provide bias to the transistor and the bias of this uh, bias of the base is selected in such a way that the power transistor Q1 and Q2 both are operated in the cutoff region so it is most important. Now the collector terminal of the power transistor Q1 and Q2 is connected to the primary winding of the transformer T2 and the center tapping uh, the center tap uh, terminal of the primary winding of this transformer T2 is connected to the plus VCC supply. Now uh, here uh, T2 that is your output transformer. Now the input signal is applied at the input of the transformer T1 and the load is connected uh, in parallel with the secondary winding of transformer T2. Now here we are taking loudspeaker as a load. So now uh, this is the basic uh, construction or the circuit of the class B uh, push-pull type amplifier. Now let me see the working principle of this amplifier. Now when no signal is applied at the input terminal of this transfer, uh, primary winding of the transformer T1. At that time, both transistor Q1 and Q2 are operated in the cutoff region. Hence, no collector currents drawn. So, now that means no collector current drawn by this transistor Q1 and Q2. So, no current draw from the plus VCC supply. So, that means there is no wastage of power. So, that is the main advantage. Now, but when the input signal is applied at the primary winding of transformer T1, now this signal is split into two signals which are 180 degree out of phase uh, with uh, each other. So here you can say that the terminal P becomes positive and terminal Q becomes negative in compared to uh, with respect to term center terminal S. Now here 
when uh, during the positive half cycle of input cycle uh, terminal uh, the terminal p becomes positive that means the base of this q1 is positive and the collect hence the collector current start to flow now this collector current is passing through the upper part of the primary winding of the transformer t2 now as a result the flux produced in the core now this flux is linked with the secondary winding of the transformer t2 and an emf induced in the secondary winding now due to this voltage a uh, current passing through the loudspeaker in the one direction that means your electrical signal is converted into a uh, sound now at same time the transistor power transistor q2 at negative half cycle which throw uh, transistor q2 in the cutoff region and hence no collector current flows now during the negative half cycle of the input input your q terminal becomes positive and uh, qp terminal becomes negative so now the base of this uh, transistor q2 is positive a collector current is start to flow now this collector current is flows in the lower part of the primary winding of the transformer d2 now due to this current uh, as a result this current um, flux produced in the core of the windings and which induce emf in the secondary winding of the transformer t2 and uh, due to this current uh, due to this voltage a current is start to flow from a uh, loudspeaker in another direction so now uh, this is the basic working of this amplifier and that same time our uh, 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 our power transistor q1 in uh, cut off operated in cut off region and another thing uh, another main important thing as shown in this uh, direction of this currents uh, due to the q1 it is uh, flow in from lower to upper where uh, in where q2 is operated it is flow from upper to lower that means the direction of current in primary windings uh, both are in opposite directions comparison between class a transformer coupled power amplifier and uspur power amplifier first uh, in class a only one power transistor is used while in uspur amplifier two power transistors are used uh, in class a only one transistor is used and no center tapping required in the winding of the transformer in uspur power amplifier it's required two transformer and center tapings required in any one winding of the each transformer third the maximum efficiency of this class a amplifier is around 50% but in push pull power amplifier the efficiency is very high if it is used as a class b type amplifier or class c type amplifier third in class a amplifier distortion in output voltage but in push pull amplifier less distortion occurs in the output voltage now in class a amplifier dc current flows through the primary winding of the transformer which uh, saturate the core of the transformer now in push pull amplifier if uh, in case of class, class b amplifier there is no dc current flows in the primary winding of the transformer but in class a amplifier dc current flows in the both hard uh, primary winding and it is in opposite direction so they are cancel to each other that means there is no uh, saturation in the core of the transformer now due to this uh, saturation of core the volume of transformer is very large but in push pull amplifier volume of the transformer is small now in class a amplifier noise occurs in the output due to the hum presence in the power supply but in push pull amplifier ripple voltage uh, cancel so no hum no hum in the power supply that means there is no noise occurs in the output signal advantages and disadvantages of push pull power amplifier uh, first advantages uh, first 
in the core of transformer the dc component for output currents of the two devices opposes to each other and it can uh, to each other magnetically which eliminates the tendency of the core to saturate so it is the most important advantage of this push pull power amplifier second it gives more ac uh, output power per device third the distortion uh, uh, free output is obtained and next no power is drawn from the supply uh, under no signal condition next eliminates even harmonics in the ac output signal and no dc components in the output signal and the ripple voltage will not appear in the load which reduce the cost of the uh, filter circuit next the efficiency of this transformer is greater than class a type amplifier now uh, next the disadvantages of the push power push pull power amplifier first two transformers are required one is called driver transformer and another that is your output transformer which increase in the cost and the weight of the amplifier now uh, second unequal uh, unequal amplification of the two half of signal introduce more distortion in the output now uh, for that two identical transistors are required now, uh, next the driver transformer is required to split the signal uh, 180 degree out of phase to each other and the crossover distortion uh, is occurs